Okay, so, <clears throat> uh, it's harvesting time. This is Roland, and this is my scud experiment. And uh, I set out to uh, breed Gamera scud because there weren't enough weed beds in the rivers last year to harvest because of all the heavy rains. The rivers were scoured clean. I've got uh, three fish tanks that I picked up cheap on Marketplace. They're uh, 10 gallons each. Maybe you can see some of the scuds swimming around in there. Um, I got the video glasses on. But I basically have three tanks. And I have some rocks that I took out of the stream that these little guys are going to go into. Uh, but I thought before I start the harvesting process, I'd give you just a quick look at uh, the setup that I made um, to raise them. And I did it with three tanks and uh, with just one pump for aeration and just basically foam filters the foam filter is there these little guys go on it they're just foam with a hole in the middle that slides down on the hootie do and uh, I also had a 250 watt fish tank heater um, which I used like right now the temperature is at 60 because I've turned it off um, but because uh, I want to get the water a little cooler closer to stream temperature um, but I was basically running it between 65 68 degrees just to kind of help encourage breeding a bit so I did throw a couple of pieces of uh, green pepper in there and you can see that they are happily all over it um, because I certainly want them to keep growing and eating because basically the uh, females release the young when they molt and they molt because they grow so doing everything we can uh, interestingly enough this little bit of weeds here was not this big when I put it in they actually grew in the tank for just from the LED light I had above it so the way this works on just one pump is the good old-fashioned siphon theory that water wants to hold its level in a siphon situation so if we were to say we have two sets of hoses one set of hoses runs from this tank to this tank and another set of hoses runs from this tank to this tank so these two have scud in them there are screens on those hoses right there to keep the scud from going that way. Um, but, because the young are so small, they'll go right through the screen. The larger ones will not. <coughs> so when I started all of this, I put 500 scud into this tank. And nothing in this tank. Well, this tank now has the majority... And this one has a good healthy population, which has increased quite a bit. Um, but just from the natural sucking in of the water in those hoses, the little ones, which are darn near microscopic when they're born, uh, they just go right through the screen. And that's fine. We don't care about that. I just didn't want to lose all of my breeders in the first tank. So, uh, so it worked out just fine. Um, I'm going to be transporting them in a five gallon pail uh, lined in double plastic bags because I want to be able to close off the top uh, for transport so that I actually keep the water in it. I'm going to be putting the rocks in um, into the bucket first and then I'm going to use the good old slotted spoon to scoop all of the stone out and separate the stone out from the water and the scud uh, and the reason I'm doing it this way is because um, there's thousands of little ones that are far too small to see you can just barely make them out with the naked eye uh, but eventually when I pour the last of the water into the bucket I want all them to come too. So 
the whole procedure is going to be focused on not losing any in the wastewater. Um, so I will be first moving the big stones into the buckets, the small stones into that bucket, and uh, you know this tank and then that tank, and then eventually I will pump down. Um, I will pump down all three of these tanks just by attaching a hose to the filter pump and letting it run into a slop sink. Um, and that will reduce the water level sufficiently that I can actually uh, get rid of all the excess water and the filters will keep the scud from going out in the excess water. Um, and then, you know, in theory this will all work, but you know, What's they say? You know, a plan is only as good as uh, the first punch in the face, right? So, here we go. So, I'm going to get started and uh, go from there. All right? And why am I doing this again? Oh, yeah. I'm doing this because I want to provide another food source for trout. Yes, Roland is obsessed with trout. We know that. Is this going to be an invasive species? Not really. Scudder everywhere just not in this particular little stream they're a little crustacean the only thing they feed on actually is decaying uh, decaying stuff so dead stuff so basically they're a scavenger uh, which is a beautiful thing in a stream because you got dead stuff in there and um, just like a crayfish you know a scud is a basically a freshwater shrimp and it is very much loved by trout and since the young are so very small it's a great food for trout fry because occasionally they will foolishly leave their little perch and they will swim around like they're doing in here and if a trout spots them you know adios scud so um, I'm gonna get started by moving some rock out and then we'll move forward okay Okay, so the rocks are out. The big ones, including the one in the middle, we'll take that back. You can probably see a little better now. They're a little confused. Want to know what happened to their happy home. Um, so from here, I'm going to take these pieces of pepper in each tank that have lots of scud on them. I'm simply going to scoop them up with a net. And I'm going to drop them into the pails, the pail that has the uh, that has the stones. And then I'm going to add some water, so that uh, I'm going to add some water so that we don't lose anybody. And let's give that a shot. Grab a, grab a dip net here. Let's take out this tank first. We're just going to whoop right out and we're very happy to come off of there you can see you can see the little ones flipping around in there a little bit and yeah, maybe we won't do that might be easier just to Might be easier just to let them uh, come out with the gravel. But we are going to put the pieces of pepper into the pail because we want them to have something to eat. We want to keep them eating so that they will molt. Definitely want to keep them eating. Huh. So I'm just going to leave them alone for now. And I'm going to concentrate on scooping a stone out of here. 
You can see them swimming around a little in there. Some sediment stirred up. This is going to get pretty gnarly because there is quite a bit of sediment in there. Everything from... There's got to be a lot of scud poop in there. So, All right, let's give it a shot. See what we have. See what happens. And I'm simply going to take the slotted spoon. I'm just going to go right in. I'm going to gently dig into it. I'm going to take a spoonful. I'm going to do my very best just to rinse the scud right out of the slots in the bottom. Throw it in the pail. Take a look in the pail. How did that work? I do not see a single scud moving. So that's good. We're going to keep going that way. Okay, so I've got all the stones spooned out of the first tank. And you can see all of the stuff just suspended in there. All the yuck from the bottom of the tank underneath all the stone. And you can see the scud swimming around and freaking out. They don't know what's going on. Um, you can see them all there clinging on, <laughs> clinging on to those tubes because they got nothing else left in there to hide on or behind um, so we're gonna let that settle out um, before we drop the uh, before we drop the water levels and I'm gonna get started on this one um, okay so we've got all the stone out of uh, both tanks there are some in there in that stone I see them swimming around. I'm going to drain the water out of that. Maybe give it a flush, but you can see they're all over the place in there. We're going to let all that yuck settle out and, uh, and we are going to remove a lot of water. I'm going to pump all this water down and um, we're going to get these bad boys out of here. So, I'm trying to figure out the best way to, to get rid of the water, and I think I'm just going to actually suck it clean out of this tank. Maybe. I'm going to have to put filters back on it, um, which I hate to do, but eh, that's okay. I'll just put the old filters back on so that we don't lose any more scud, but... That's a lot of scud. I mean, you can see plenty swimming around in there through all the cloud and haze, but that's a lot. All right. Okay, so I put the pump back in, except this time I laid the filters down to get the uh, water level as low as possible. And we're just going to let it drain. So it's coming out of this tank, going out the hose. So just with the three different levels, it's getting sucked out of this one into this one, and from this one into that one, and from this one out. And uh, I have a feeling they are largely going to be crawling around down in that bottom muck. And we're going to wind up having to keep most of that bottom muck. And I see a pair breeding right there. <laughs> so they haven't stopped. So all of this uh, all of this excitement hasn't really made them skip a beat. Um, so once all the water is drained down we'll remove all these hoses and clamps and stuff. And uh, We'll be done with it. Okay. <coughs> okay, so. We dumped that tank into that tank. And we let it settle out. Now we got to get this water level down. We can see them in there. I don't know how well you can see the gazillions of teensy weensy weensy ones. But man, there's a lot. 
I mean, the big ones are easy to see. I mean, <laughs> big is a relative term here. But all those little specks, the really little ones, are actually scuds. Um, so we're going to drain this down. And then it's going in there. I've got the uh, air pump going and as soon as we can get that pumped all the way down we'll be set and then we'll uh, close it up set it up for the night and tomorrow they're going to take a ride and uh, that'll be that so should be pretty cool okay so we've arrived at secret creek and we are going to move that bucket is just too doggone heavy to schlep through the woods myself so what we're gonna do here first Let's grab some stream rocks and have scud on them. And we are just going to move some stream rocks back down into the stream. See the moving there. It's just crawling with scuds. We're just going to put them there and let them be. And we're going to walk this bucket down first and put these um, into where we want them to be. All right. So here's spot number one. Now stirred it up a little bit apparently you can see some nice weed growth there weed growth there in the backwaters now I decided to leave this area all alone because it just looks like a food repository um, so we're gonna make it foodie We're going to take our rock which still has scuds and we're going to lay it right here on the side of the current we're going to do the same with this rock over here we're just going to put some rocks down Get some nice weed growth on this rock. Lay it right here. Okay. Now what we are going to wind up doing is coming back here with... Yeah, see them? Just off the rocks, there's a lot of them down in there. I see breeding pairs swimming around. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna take this and literally pour it right into the little back eddy right here. So that they stay in the backwater. You see them all down in there. All right. I'm 
and then this spot is going to be next the glare right now makes it very hard to see but that's a nice deep pool with a nice backwater right in there so that's okay we're going for round two let's see what we pulled out of here you can see that that's basically nice weed growth swarming with scuds there get this big monster rock out of here and it is crawling with them just crawling with them we need some more water Because that's all right, a little bit of time out isn't gonna hurt them, and back we go. All right, so all right, here we are, location number two. Location number two. has a nice backwater full of lots of decayed material some depth but I mean we were supposed to get a lot of rain and I'm glad we didn't because that could have definitely complicated matters so I'm gonna lay these rocks right in the water there and I'm going to pour all of these scud right into all the detritus in the bottom all that dead stuff and again we've got more scud in the bucket that are in the muck when we distribute the muck this will get even more but right now I'm just kind of trying to pick locations um, and yes it is a small stream um, when when there isn't much rain it is small um, but look at the line when this sucker picks up after in the summer I've seen it very high summer thunderstorms rip through here so uh, we do get some rain I'm gonna see about see if I can just net a bunch here Yeah, there's a lot there. Do we do that again? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm getting a little rain here. So I'm into this pool, which looks like a lovely place to set some scudding quiet territories. That's what I'm going to do. All 
I'm going to pour this right into the calm water underneath that boulder. Alright, and back we go. Alright, we're almost to the top. Alright, so I'm down to the muck water that was in the bottom of the bag. I'm going to walk that down and uh, drop them in. Looks nasty. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to put the first scoop right on that nice piece of weed growth right there. This is the big pool top. I just hope I can get to that without going in above my boots. I don't know why I didn't bring uh, I don't know why I didn't bring my I don't know why I didn't bring my hip waders, but I didn't. I'm just gonna deposit them right on there. One more. Oh yeah. That's teaming with them. And a bunch of scud in there now, and they should have no problem living and multiplying in that beautiful weedy mess right there. And I'll check back on them in a couple of weeks. But uh, I'm just noticing that nice undercut under that big boulder right there. That's beautiful. Just gorgeous. Alright, next we're going to move downstream. <sighs> Try not to land on our butt. <sighs> I don't know, I like this spot. I'm seeing a lot of nice places for Scud to hang out right here. Let's drop one net right here. What do we got? Oh yeah. What do you say we drop them? Right there in that nice clump of weeds. Do I see any walk? Yep, I see him walking around. Okay. Good frog. I don't know. I'm less than thrilled about putting them in that pool. I'd rather they washed into it, I think. I think I'd rather put them down here. Back to this spot. Whew. A little warm.
That's much better. We're eating a chunk of food, huh? Okay, one last stop. One last stop and then we move on to trout. We're just going to put them all right in here. Alright, that's it for Scud. Whew.